Today, noise pollution has become a serious problem for human health, both physical and <coughs> mental. Noise beyond a limit produces many diseases such as hypertension, stress, forgetfulness, depression, and insomnia. In addition to the outward noise, there is mental noise, the constant chatter of the mind. Too often, these are negative thoughts about others that intensify worries, anger, frustration, hatred, and jealousy. We always try to avoid being with ourselves. That is because most of us are ignorant of the fact that there is true happiness and peace only in silence, which is within us. Silence is all-pervading. All sounds and noise arise from silence. Some years ago, I had an inexplicable experience of silence. One fine morning, our next door neighbor on the right side decided to demolish the old house and go for a multi-story apartment and started the work without delay. During the same time, our left side neighbor felt like renovating his house by adding two more rooms. The family living opposite our house started celebrating religious function for 10 days with chantings, with chantings played uh, through a loudspeaker without any break. So, with the noise from all around, I felt very, I felt really terrible, very, very uncomfortable. Adding to it, my negative emotions, you know, like irritation, anger, restlessness started bothering me a lot. So, leaving my work unfinished, I went inside my room and locked myself. I sat down with the intention of getting rid of this noise outside and quietening my mind. I was in fact fighting with the noise outside and the thoughts within. But it was of no use. The noise still haunted me from all sides. With determination and patience, I continued to sit there with my eyes closed and tried to go beyond the noise. After some time, I felt the outside noises fading away and inner emotions coming down. Coming down, I could feel a gentle flow of energy throughout my body, from top to the bottom. And a moment came when there was absolutely no noise, neither from the outside nor from inside. There was no irritation, no impatience, no restlessness. I experienced silence with its vastness, which was extremely rejuvenating and peaceful. It was really an experience, difficult to express in language. Silence of speech, silence of the eyes, silence of the ears, silence of the mind, and silence of the self. The last one, silence of the self, is pure silence and is of much importance. Let us understand the different modes of silence. 
silence of speech. Mahatma Gandhi had said that by abstaining from speaking, one can become a better listener. And I too believe in it. We can really listen to others who are trying to tell us something. Saint Haridas of India explains that we talk only by exhalation. The more we talk, the more we have to excel and the more life energy we lose. They say that a day's silence means a week longer of life and a day's speech means a week less of life. When we walk, sorry, when we talk, we use tremendous energy which can be preserved for meditation. Mahatma Gandhi used to observe silence every Monday communicating on that day only through writing. In silence you can find what you are looking for. Everyday practice of silence can definitely get back our forgotten identity, the knowledge of ourselves. One can visualize nature with eyes closed. We can see with our mental eyes the nature's beauty, like the beautiful rising sun over the horizon, the gorgeous moon of the full moon day, the lovely sight of the waterfall, etc., and get absorbed in it. Those visions are soothing and in harmony with our inner self. One can, one can also sit with both physical and mental eyes closed to be in a deeper silence. Silence of the ears can be observed by keeping away from the outer noise. Sound is reverberations of energy where as noise is unwanted, undesirable energy. Nature makes sound, not noise. Early morning, one can hear the birds chirp. One can hear the wind blowing when one takes a stroll. Standing on the beach, one can hear the tides crashing on the shore. The sounds of nature are very soothing as they are in tune with our inner peace and therefore help us to transcend deeper into the silence. Our outer silence is simply a means to help us find the inner silence. Mind is the source of all noise, all turbulence. Madame Blavatsky describes the mind as the slayer of the real. All the voices of the mind must be silenced so that the seeker can hear the inner voice. And when one comes to experience that, one can get united with all. Though appears to be passive, silence is dynamic because it is powerful. Everything good comes out of that. Silence can be said to be an unified existence where all questions are answered, all doubts are dissolved, all creative solutions are found. It gives strength to deal with difficult challenges in life and shows the way to get out of it as well. It is the place where you can forgive those who hurt you the most. It helps.
to control our emotions like anger, greediness, worries, stress, etc. Scientific researchers show that at least two hours of silence every day increases the production of brain cells which brings down the risk of dementia and insomnia. Silence of the self. Most of the major religions of the world consider silence as a place to experience the ultimate reality, the truth or God. The word mauna in Sanskrit means silence and is derived from the word muni that refers to one who is uh, intensely silent radiating an ineffable spirit of calmness. Buddha was regarded as a muni of highest order as his meditation was based on the power of silence that led him to enlightenment. Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita of all things secret, I am the silence. In Christianity, it is said, be still and know that I am God. Silence in Islam is simply salvation. The sound of Om. It is the primordial sound of the macrocosm and the microcosm. Silence is awareness. Mundaka Upanishad mentioned that silence is the Atman, the self. In fact, silence is the genuine teaching about the ultimate reality because the absolute is beyond the scope of speech and thought. Silence of the speech, eyes, ears and mind are essential for the self-transformation. Silence is both a journey and also the destination. What we really need is our strong willpower, willingness and determination to avoid unnecessary outer and inner noise and by leading a simple, holistic life that requires healthy food for the body, silence for the mind, and deeper silence that is meditation for the soul. Thank you for giving me a pleasant hearing. Thank you all.